All right, another how-to video adding to our bite-sized playlist. To get into a Google Meet, there's a number of ways, and Google Calendar is one of them, and yet there's two ways to do that. First of all, if we go into Google Classroom, you'll see that there's a Google Calendar button right down there. So Classwork, Google Calendar. And another way to do it, let's get this PowerPoint moving to the next slide, is just go directly to Google Calendar itself, and in there you can get things working as well. I'm just going to change that just so I can scratch my nose and you can't tell. Once you're in Google, Google Calendar, click on the More Options button that you'll see down the bottom, and then you'll get into this section so that you can actually get started with it. So I'm going to head to another screen where I'm already inside a, a date. I've clicked More Options. I've given it a title. It's going to be called Test Meet, because why not? I've chosen my date. I've decided whether it's going to repeat add a location if it's important, but it probably isn't because it's going to be a video conference. So I'm going to click here and add a Google Meet, and that's all good. Um, add your date, you know, if you need a notification, that's fine. Put a little description in here, which is a good idea, and click on the attachment if you want to add some attachments. Um, that's probably about the only way I know at this stage to add an attachment, unless you're using Google classroom and your attachments already in there then you'll come over here and you'll add your guests so i've added a couple of fake students i hope they're going to come along maybe um, and if you have a distribution list for your classroom that they've all that you've created in your contacts or whatever then you can just add that and it will add all your students in there you just simply click the save button and um, hopefully they'll all turn up that's how to use your calendar